I'm going to show you how to alter the length of a song's count off to be shorter or longer. So when a loop is initially recorded and bounced down, we leave two measures of blank space before the actual downbeat of the song, which is to leave room for a count off. So in 4-4 time signature, those two bars would consist of two beats of blank space, followed by two beats of a 3-4 count off. So that consists of the first measure. Then the second measure is a full measure of 1-2-3-4. Three, four. One, two, three, four. If I look over here in this region of the clip view, this is the start point for each clip. So what this tells me is that this clip is at 1, 1, 1, which means it's going to play at the very beginning of the audio file. This box stands for the bars. This box is for the beats. And this box shows me the, the divisions of the beat, in which case its 16th notes here. So if I look at all the clips for the song Always Will, and I look down here into the clip view of each of them, I can see that they all start at 1, 1, 1, except for this one over here, okay? This says minus 1, 1, 1. So what does that tell me? Why is that different? Well, what that means is when this loop was bounced, it was bounced only with, in this case, one measure before the downbeat rather than two. And I can see that a little bit more clearly over here. If you go over here to the clip view, oh, just above the waveform in the timeline here, I get to this magnifying glass. My mouse will kind of change to a magnifying glass. And I'm going to left click and drag down, and I can zoom in on that area. So then I can see here that the start point's minus one measure, but the actual file starts right here. Three, four. One, two, three, four. That way everything can play in time. So let's say, for instance, I have a video opener at the start of our gathering, and I want a really tight transition or gap between the end of that video and the start of our first song here, Always Will. So right now... Three, four. One, two, three, four. I have a two-bar count-off, so I want to make that into a one-bar count-off. So what I want to do is go into each of the clips for the song Always Will and change the start point here to a 2 or starting at measure 2 instead of measure 1. So I'm just going to start up here at click down and make this a 2. And I don't even have to press enter. I can just move on to the next clip and press 2 and change all of these uniformly. Now for this song you won't want to change all the start points uniformly. If you remember the synth lead here for whatever reason was only bounced with one measure of count off space before the downbeat instead of two. So we had to, that's why this start point said minus one. So in this case, uh, I'm going to make the start point different than the rest. So again, I just want to move it up a measure. So instead of minus one, I'm going to make it one. One, two, three, four. 